Hey guys, this is JNM with a new tutorial on how to import an animated stylized model into Unity 2018. This is my first collaboration video, the model that I import is from a fellow 3D artist named 3DX and this is his channel which I highly recommend. He has quite a few time lapse and tutorial videos in which you can see his workflow for creating stylized 3D models. He uses Maya for modeling, then imports his models into ZBrush to sculpt in the details for adding a stylized look and feel. After that he uses Substance Painter for texturing the models and this is a workflow that I also like and use when I create models with PBR materials. So be sure to check out his channel, it's really worth it. Ok, having that said, this is the model that he sent me, a stylized turret that I will import now into Unity 2018, in the next part I will do the same for Unreal Engine. Ok, this is the simple project, in the scene I have a camera, a directional light, simple scaled cubes for the floor and the walls and a global post processing volume. I used the new package manager of Unity 2018 to add the lightweight rendering package and this includes the post processing package as well. 3DX sent me the model as FBX and the PBR textures as TGA files. The next thing I do is now to drag the FBX into the models folder of my project and in the preview window of the FBX importer you can already play the imported animation. I renamed this animation now to move turret, you can choose any name you like and I also define this as a looping animation. The model settings I keep as they are and before I extract the material I have to apply the import. Then I go to the materials tab and press extract materials and for the folder I choose the materials folder that I added before. I also added the textures folder to the project and the next step is to import the textures into the folder, I just select them in the Windows Explorer and drag them into the project. And here you can see the textures for albedo, metallic, the normal map and the map for the roughness. After that I select the material again and set the shader to standard with roughness setup. Ok and then I just drag the textures to the appropriate slots. Here the albedo, also known as diffuse or base texture, then the metallic, the roughness, and finally the normal map for which we have to press the fix now button to let Unity know that this is actually a normal map. Ok, the material looks pretty nice. And when you select your model now you can preview it with the material attached. Alright, so let's drag it into the scene so that we can see it in the game view. And I'm going to rotate it like this so that the gears are visible when we play the animation. I want to play the animation when the game starts, so I drag the move turret animation onto the game object. Now an animator controller is created called turret animated. And when I double click to open it, you can see that the move turret animation is defined as standard. Ok, so we can press the play button and start the game. And this looks really decent. So if you're interested on how this model is created, just visit the channel 3DX, I added the link to the video to the description below and to the end screen. So if you like this tutorial and my channel then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The next one as I said is about importing this model into Unreal Engine. 
If you want to support me, think about being my patron, this would really help this channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.